Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day today. Now as you might know, James Gunn's Superman film and just the DCU in general has been a hot topic in recent history, especially with the set leaks and that kind of stuff. And we know the cast of the Superman film and some of the different characters that are already in the DCU. We know he's playing Superman, Lex Luthor, Supergirl, Guy Gardner, Hawk Girl, etc. But there are still a ton of characters in the DC universe that haven't been casted. So in this video, I wanted to share my fan cast, who I think should play these different characters. But also, let me know in the comments section down below who you think should play these different characters. And without any further ado, let's hop right into the fan cast. So I'm going to start off with Timothy Chalamet as Nightwing. I want to start off with the Bat Family since we know we're getting a Brave and Bold film. Now, Timothy Chalamet has been a pretty popular actor recently. He's played a pretty good range of characters from Willy Wonka to the main character in Dune. And I think, obviously, he could be Nightwing. I mean, he's in his 20s, and that's pretty much the age Nightwing is supposed to be. Next up, I have Dylan Manit as Red Hood. He's a little bit younger than Timothy Chalamet, so I think he could probably fit the role of Red Hood. Now, as for Red Robin and Damian Wayne, I don't really have a fan cast for them because I think they're young enough that they should just get new actors, not really people that are already in the public eye. Then I have Emma Watson as Batwoman, but for Batgirl, I'm going to go with Leslie Grace. The logic here is simple. She actually already played Batgirl in a canceled movie that the Warner Brothers spent $90 million on. We've already seen what she looks like in the suit. And so I just figured they might as well just bring her into this universe as the Batgirl since she already played her and they canceled the movie. Then I have Anthony Hopkins as Alfred. I mean, I think he could come off as this charming old man that cares for Bruce Wayne. Obviously, he's in his 80s, but since this is going to be an older version of Batman, it could probably be an older version of Alfred as well. And Anthony Hopkins obviously isn't new to comic book films. He played Odin in the Thor movies. But I also think maybe Christopher Lloyd could also play Alfred. I just thought that was a possibility. And then I have Giancarlo Esposito as Lucius Fox. This is one of the characters that I do really wish was in the DCEU. And then for Commissioner Gordon, I have Brian Cranston, kind of staying on the topic of Breaking Bad. Then I have Jack Black as Harvey Bullock, as long as he doesn't get too goofy. This is one of the characters that I don't understand how he hasn't been in any of the live-action Batman movies. He doesn't even need to play a huge role in the story. He just needs to be there kind of having conversations with Commissioner Gordon. I feel like he's one of the easy characters to squeeze in there. So again, I just don't understand why he hasn't been in any of the live action Batman films to this point. But for Batman himself, I got Keanu Reeves. Obviously, he's actually voiced Batman before in DC League of Super Pets. But a lot of people have been wanting him to play Batman. I honestly think he could be this older version of Batman. But there are actually a few different actors that I think definitely could play Batman that people have been discussing like Jake Gyllenhaal, Jensen Ackles, and Alan Richson. So as long as one of these four actors winds up playing Batman, I'd be happy with that. Next up, I got Willem Dafoe as the Joker, kind of switching gears to Batman villains. Obviously, people have been wanting this for a long time. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, you've probably seen some concept art for it. Willem Dafoe just seems like he has that personality. He's played the Green Goblin in Marvel, as well as Volko in the Aquaman movies. So he's a pretty experienced comic book movie actor and just actor in general. Then I have Andy Daly as the Riddler. This is definitely a really underrated actor. I think it's time that he got an upgrade to a huge blockbuster movie. Then I have Brendan Fraser as Firefly, and this is the same logic as I did for the Batgirl actress. He played Firefly in the canceled Batgirl movie, so you just might as well bring him into this universe. Then I have Daniel Radcliffe as Killer Moth. I think it's about time he appears in a Marvel or DC film, and I think this role would probably be a good starting role for a comic book movie. Then I have Pedro Pascal as Deadshot. He's a really busy actor, but I think they could pull this off. Then we have Matt Damon as Deathstroke. For the Penguin, however, I kind of wanted Mark Strong because obviously if you've seen Colin Farrell's performance as the Penguin in the Batman, you kind of know that makeup can turn anyone into the Penguin. And Mark Strong has played a few DC villains before. He's played Sinistro in Green Lantern, as well as the evil Doctor Guy in Shazam. So I just thought it'd be kind of funny if he kept being in more DC movies as villains. Then we have Daniel Craig as Two-Face. I just think this would be great. Then I have RDJ as Raz Al Ghul. I figured since Damian Wayne is going to be in this, they'll probably have the League of Shadows incorporated. I just think Robert Downey Jr. could probably be in a DC movie, and this is a good role for him. Then we have Dave 
Batista as Bane. He's obviously worked with James Gunn before in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and a lot of people were talking about him playing this role, and a lot of people have actually been saying that he might just be too old for it at this point, but I don't think that's the case at all. And it's not like all the muscles for him has to be real, like they did with the Tom Hardy version. Next up, I have Patrick Stewart as Mr. Freeze. Now, he was actually considered for the role of Mr. Freeze in Batman and Robin, although it was obviously taken by Arnold Schwarzenegger. But I think since this is an older version of Batman, it's an older version of all these different villains, so I still think he could play him. And then I have Emily Blunt as Catwoman. But to kind of shift gears to other DC villains, I'm going to have Jude Law as Brainiac. He's an experienced comic book actor as well. He was in that Captain Marvel movie. And I think it's about time Brainiac came to the big screen. For Sinistro, I have Hugo Weaving. And for Darkseid, I have Jeff Bridges. For General Zod, I have Tom Hardy, who played Bane in The Dark Knight Rises, as well as Eddie Brock in the Venom movies, so definitely an experienced actor. And for Mr. Mixy Piddle of the Mr. For, for, for whatever his name is, I have Peter Dinklage. But to kind of move on to the heroes, I have Arnold Schwarzenegger as Jor-El. I just think that would be kind of awesome. I'm sure they'll have a flashback of him at some point, if not in the Superman movie, later on in the DCU. But transitioning to our Justice League cast members, I have John Boyega as Cyborg. For Hal Jordan, I think James Marsden would be perfect. Obviously, he's played Cyclops in the X-Men movies, and actually did appear in Superman Returns as, like, Perry White's nephew. So I think it'd be nice if he appeared in a DC movie again, but as a more important character. And for Jon Stewart, I have Michael B. Jordan. He has a pretty good resume. Obviously, he played Johnny Storm in the Fantastic Four from 2015, as well as Killmonger in the MCU. For The Flash, I got Glenn Powell. I think he can capture that energy, and he's been a pretty popular actor recently. For Wonder Woman, I have Jamie Alexander, who actually was in the Thor movies. For Aquaman, I have Will Poulter. He's worked with James Gunn in Guardians of the Galaxy 3 as Adam Warlock, and I honestly think this would be a good role for him. Then I have The Rock as Martian Manhunter. A lot of people have been talking about this, but I think it actually is a really good idea for Chris Pratt to play Booster Gold. And last but not least, for Green Arrow, I think that Ryan Gosling would be really good in that role. But overall, that was my fan cast. Again, share who you think should play these characters down in the comments section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah.